My specialty, I would say, would be systems biology and departmental biology. Uh, my in, I'm also interested in cell biology, and I'm applying some of those in my current research. Since I was a kid, I have a very uh, strong passion towards like mathematics and physics and the more physical science. But to me, the ability like nowadays to apply those principles to understand and quantitatively how like cells and biological like systems reach a decision and then you know proliferate or not becomes a type of cells or not. Um, that's actually a combination of what I have always been interested in as a kid to a real biological question. So in a sense, that's even better because um, as a kid, I imagine myself to be like a mathematician or a physicist. Growing up, I see the need of biomedical research, so I really want to make an impact of that. And so together now, these days, I try to bring them together. And I'm trying to do biomedical research using a bit of the tools from math and physics. Um, and that's what we call like systems biology uh, in the context of embryo development. I guess over the past year, it's what a lot of my uh, current research sort of starting to come together because my uh, initial um, year, first year of my uh, postdoc, I invested a lot of time developing tools and uh, developing, developing a platform for screening. And this past year, I started to uh, gain some Im real information from these tools and from this screening that I started to feel like I learned a lot more about the system that I'm studying right now. During medical school, I actually see uh, patients and then I you know, have like the firsthand experience talking to them. So I know, you know sometimes it could be really limited in terms of uh, the disease, disease that they get and the limitation of medicine. Uh, my dad is actually a survivor of cancer. And so for me, it's really um, personal as well to really try to get into biomedical research and try to see you know, the, how we can really make advancement on that. Receiving the Demiranian Award, I would say, um, have impact on my career in two aspects. Um, the first aspect is that um, that brings me together with all the peers that are really aiming to make an impact in cancer research and to be able to meet these people and sort of um, grow scientifically with these people is actually a very um, impactful experience. Secondly, it's very important that a postdoc uh, can be funded uh, in, like independently because the fact that you're independently funded by a foundation means you have more freedom to go out and establish your own connections with other labs and sort of bring, like, you know, bring together your own scientific program. And you're not necessarily limited in the lab and the interest of one lab. I want to tell those people who actually just maybe were just donating and not seeing the people who are receiving it that it actually means a lot.